Okay, we're back. Once again. This is What's Mine Is Yours. We have completed the quest, What's Mine Is Yours. It's very interesting. I like how w the weird and goofy the, 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 the quests give. And it tells you if it's a novice quest or not, so there's that, obviously. But now we're gonna be tackling RFD. I really wanna get bee gloves, but I don't know if we can get bee gloves. And so there's Cook's assistant, and believe it or not, these blurberry specials are like 40k each now. I can't believe it either. I bought this for I think 15k in the, in the shop. I don't know how I got it, I think it was from the toad, or how someone else got it, but yeah. And I love the RFD quests. Oh, it's so goofy. Here comes the Cullman answer! I thought his name was Cullman answer, like with like four syllables in it, for the longest time. But uh, yeah, so now we got Gertrude's cat, and something interesting happened. They gave me an XP limb instead of giving me immediate experience. So maybe this is how people are able to complete all the quests in the game that don't require a defense experience that still would give defense experience, like Monkey Madness, Dragon Slayer. You can, I guess, well, I don't know about Monkey Madness, because they, you have to go through training to go back there. Unless you have, like, the fairy rings or whatever. But, yeah. Getting off topic. Look at this! This is the old goblin diplomacy thing! Oh my god. Mud knuckles. Mud knuckles, where'd you go? I like how it's, like, halfway up the wall you see him. Like, they don't just... He, you, your character doesn't, it just doesn't go, Oh my god! But, yeah, we got 20 farming. Huge. Because I hate farming. This was before POF came out, by the way, I think. And now we are doing Pirate Pete. Oh, and honestly, I liked Pirate Pete more than Evil Dave. I don't know if I did Evil Dave or not. The footage is very old, and I'm currently doing a voiceover from like five years into the future, as in present time, while the footage is five years into the past, as you can see by this treasure hunter um, interface. You. We, we don't remember what this thing looked like. Now it's like some weird uh, next-gen MTX sort of thing that you see in like all the games. And it's kind of crazy. But look at that. We got three engineering XP lamps. Now I did not go for the bonus. I went for the flat. And it was pretty good of an idea. We got to 66 engineering, 14 levels until 80. And that's going to play a huge role soon. So right now we're gonna get some farming, uh, uh, what is it, cooking levels, and check that out. Grapes, so 5.6k. I was like, I'm gonna go do some wines. They don't buy for medium. But anyways, we got the cooked fish cake. Uh, I don't know what I would do if I had not, if I had burned it. I probably would have logged up and never returned, which would be horrible for this series. But yeah, we just completed freeing pirate heat. Huge update indeed. 30 crafting, less gems to craft right there, and now we're gonna be tackling Ice Queen. This was more of a painful experience because we literally dealt no damage to her instead of she we were dying to an NPC. When was the last time you would see this? To be honest, I didn't use fire magic, which I should have, and now we have ice gloves. Massive update right there. And yeah, believe it or not, salmon don't heal for shit. But now we have more increased. Woohoo! Now, keep in mind this is not an Iron Man account. I do not have that level of insanity. And we got a purple off of the thing. And look at that! Such great rewards! I could get a glowing bug in a jar! But no, I have pure sanity today. Or at the moment of this footage. We went for the Chaotic Repire, humongous upgrade. The real reason behind this whole thing is that I feel like I feel like Legacy would be so much fun. But we have 1.4 mil XP away. Funny, because we are 14 levels away. How, what a quinky dink. Now we're planning to get some levels for Family Crest. Um, that quest, from my, what, what I can recall, was not that bad. Um, but yeah, now we're doing the golem quest, and then we're gonna be doing, you guessed it, I think it's a shadow quest thing, mini quest. 
And honestly, this was probably one of my more favorable RFD quests. Was this RFD? I don't remember. But, um, like, it's just so goofy. This quest, honestly, was so goofy. Tanya, poor Tanya, got sacked by ghosts. And then Eric got rocked by rocks. Oh my god, we're racking up the troops. We, we got a golem, a talking rock, a balding priest, a delusional priest, and cultists. All... All, all together to resurrect a demon. For what reason? I do not know. But it was one of my more favor favorable quests, honestly. Agritnar Matthew! And then, and then after he dies, you go off and say, I revived you! Or resurrected, rather. And then this was a uh, slightly long, tedious process of wiping him off the face of the map. And then for some reason, our priest guy just totally reverts into a little fetal position over there. But look at that. Wow! We sliced the shit out of him. He went bye-bye super fast. And look at that XP. Look at this. 250? Where did that XP come from? I think it was from a silver hawk, maybe. Um, but yeah, we wiped him off the face of the map, we got a, a silver dark light thingy, and we're not putting it on defense, no, 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 we're putting it on ranged. That, honestly, range, I think, is a more lackluster ability, or rather, um, stat, um, out of the whole entire combat trial triangle. And you can see how old this footage is, there's no necromancy, 